The sun is shining outside and the sun is shining inside. Hopefully I've sorted this lighting out. It actually is sunny out, but I've blacked out the window. Much better, hopefully. Anyway, welcome to the Wednesday Shave. How's your week going so far? All right, I hope so, hope you're in good health. Um, a two razor shave this, using uh, products um, I've not used for a while and one, well two new products, one I bought um, a lucky find on eBay and another one was sent to me. Um, so the first thing is that Candia, the beauty company and they've got this shavette. Thank you. Um, it says on there. And all you do is pull this off and it takes razor blades half. You snap the razor blade D blade in half and place it in there carefully. So it's, I don't know if you can see the edge on it. Maybe. It's blurred to me on there. So I've got straight razors, I've got shavettes and I hardly use them. That's because I'm a DE shaver, SE, yeah, single edge, but double edge is my thing. But because I've got them, I like to use them. Um, and you can't just turn to this way of shaving uh, when you've been used to DE shaving straight away. It takes time and effort, well not effort, but time and patience. So what I'm going to do is just the first pass. And that way I'm using it, you know, no good having them sat in the drawer, is it? So I bought this a while ago, um, wasn't expensive either, so it's a shaver, it takes half a blade. So that's that. Shaving soap, I've just been blooming, soaking, blooming soap. This is the um, Wickham Soap Company 1912 um, Russian leather, imperial leather scent. And there is a reason I'm using this, which we'll come to later. Now brush here again. I've not used this for a long, long time. It's soaking in this uh, little jar. And this is the Colonel, Simpsons, the Colonel X2L Best Badger. So the Colonel X2L Best Badger. Not a big, you'd expect it to be massive X2L. and <laughs> it's, not, it's not a big brush. But it's nice. Best Badger. So that's been soaking. And I'm going to use, I'm just going to wet the, wet the whiskers. Been looking forward to this. I thought of it the other day and I thought, yeah, nice change. Still warm. So I'm going to use this uh, bloom water. Good soap, this. Oh, so. This is more like the old Imperial Leather hand soap than what the new Imperial Leather soap really is. I think. I mean, look at this, just the water, this. I think they've changed the packaging, have they? No, I'm, I'm not sure. Right. Very slick, I can feel it in my hands. So that can go down there. And we'll prepare, just get rid of the drips. Tough, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> get rid of the... Here we go. And we got a, a special viewer uh, sitting. And especially on a Sunday, this chap, his name's Henry. And I think he's only four. And on a Sunday morning, especially, they leave uh, leaves his mum have a lie in in bed, and he goes downstairs on the couch with his dad Andrew, and they watch my shave video. And he said that sometimes he gets a he even gets a plastic uh, thing to pretend he's shaving. <laughs> so hello Henry, you all right? Hello. <laughs> He'll soon be taking your razors, uh, Andrew. Look at that, straight away. Beautiful brush, this. Yeah, he'll be soon taking, when he's old enough to shave, he'll be taking you. He'll be saying, where's that? Where's that? <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. Oh, 
was a quality brush too, fair play. You can tell the way it splays, the way it holds uh, and creates. The lather cost me a good bit. I forget how much it was. It's on the box. £69 this brush cost me. And that was a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. What a soap, wow. I wonder if I can shave with, without messing this shirt up for once. I doubt it. Right, so we're gonna use the, still gonna heat the blade. The old shaveette, first pass. And then we'll go on to a feather popular then, just to finish the second, third and pick up time baby. So here we go, shave it. Trying to show you and see at the same time. That feels lovely to be fair. thing is with this, this shavette, the cutting length is roughly the same as a D razor if you think about it. Um, got one to, yes I have, feather popular, it might be slightly, you can see how wide the blade, not far off, roughly the same. Some shavettes are longer, I mean the straight razors are longer anyway, uh, most of them. But um, something nice about doing it this well, this way. You know, you probably use this every day, you soon get used to it, but um, yeah, I'm a D man myself. But I'm always glad I've used them. Oh, I caught myself then. Well, it felt like I caught myself. Oh, sure I did. Yeah, see the spot. I'm not used to it, you see. Heating salad. No. Right, yeah, just a nick there. Feels lovely. And the blade in this, I forgot to tell you, is the Gillette Wilkinson blade, brand new. And I have this, so I'll keep the other half when I use it again. But, um, Never heard me so, never heard, <laughs> never been so quiet have I, people shouting, use it all the time. <laughs> yeah, 
Thank you. Something very traditional, even using a shavette. Um, it's nice. as he gingerly does it. That's a good first pass. I'm very pleased with that. Just one little incident there. But that's nothing to worry about. So there, I'm glad I've used it. No good sat in a drawer. So the Candure Shavette, great job. So, let's Oh, we'll wet the face. This soap is slick. And I mean properly, because even the water, you know, the bloom water, you could feel it. And good stuff. Good stuff. Right. Now, inside the feather, feather popular, twist the top to open. And inside there is the Wilkinson sword blade, second second use. There's non-adjustable. There is overhang. Heat that up. Rinse it up. And we'll go back. Oh, I thought I'd seen a dot there then. Didn't feel that. I seen a video a few years back. Uh, somebody sent it to me. Um, or a link to it under my channel because um, I used to well before all the raises you know how's you build up all your collection um, my main razor you know the the Merca future absolutely loved it and I used it a lot and uh, got on lovely with it anyway somebody said have a look at this fella <laughs> and he was shaving with it and I've tried to find the video and I can't find it again. Um, anyway, he uh, he was using it. This was done. And at the end, whew, well, it was like somebody had gone with razor, like slit his, he was bleeding. I've never seen, whew, I mean, th this is white. He was red. Poor thing. And I can't remember, I hope he didn't put aftershave on after that. Whew. Right, second pass, feather popular with a uh, Wilkinson sword blade second use. That's nice. Again, non expensive razor. Tell you what I hear a lot of in the mornings now, very early. I'm not bothered because I'm up, you know, quarter past four, half past four. But the seagulls, God, they're on the house up the road and you can hear them ch chatting away and meh, meh, meh. And I feel sorry for anybody who's sort of not due to get up until seven o'clock or something or whatever. But they're protected here, so I don't know. Uh, there seem to be a lot coming in land now. I got told off 
many years ago I was in the Llandidno and I don't know what it is when you go to a seaside town um, you've got in this country you've got to have fish and chips so I, th um, I think Mrs H was going shopping and I've learned many years ago if it's a shopping trip stay away so what we do is we get to the place park up look at the watch and say right see you in about an hour or an hour and a half whatever however long she needs because if I go with her you see I get told off oh you're rushing me I said no no take your time well no just be in there I feel rushed right old Jim I'll see you <laughs> Message received and understood. So that. <laughs> so uh, you can't have a lady under pressure when she's shopping. Who no. Otherwise you're going to cop it, baby. No, she's very good. Anyway, so we meet in an hour, whatever. And I said, do you want something to eat later? She said, no. Okay, I said, well, I'll have some chips or some kind of fish and chips. Not boring, am I? <laughs> So uh, off I went, bought my fish and chips, sat on the front, minding my own business. And this uh, sort of young seagull came right up to me, just, uh, just sat like a... <laughs> and I felt something, I threw it a chip. Oh, it wolfed it down. And that was it, I had some more fish and chips and, and I must have thrown it another one third pass next minute a tap on the shoulder a lady about in the 50s do not feed the seagulls they attack people along the front so uh, I said let me put a chip on your head <laughs> no so I said to her well I said it is their place the seaside you shouldn't feed them. And then Lily said, well, maybe you shouldn't go to the front then. Anyway, I didn't argue. And I threw a chip on her head and she was screaming up the road. <laughs> Joke, I didn't do that. But um, her husband just looked at me disgusted and said, oh, he's not listening. Come on. And off they went. I've never seen them since. Yeah. Probably I shouldn't have fed it. Good grief. Now, had she said it nicely, she would have probably got more respect. I never get the tap on the shoulder. Because I thought it was Mrs. Aper. I thought you're early. Do not feed it. So that was me told. I wouldn't feed them somewhere like here because they don't forget, do they? They're like a shot. I'm sorry, I talk some. <laughs> Talking rubbish. This is nice. I'm enjoying this. Beautiful scent. Imperial leather. If somebody said to me about this soap. I'd recommend it like that. Wow. Slickness is amazing. That wasn't much of a neck. It seemed to have well, self-healed. I 
lovely. You know what time it is now? About ten past seven. <laughs> She's on the phone today. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Right. I haven't even gone back to the puck. That's a sign of a good brush. Holding it. But not holding it, not giving it. And a sign of a very good soap. Absolutely. And there's plenty in there. Here we go. How you can go? I can see soap up my nose and everything. <laughs> I did a uh, man have said. Or may have not. Anyway, did my mother um, like a uh, like a beef stew with dumplings? God, I never <laughs> enjoyed it. She did. So um, that was nice. And thanks for the comments again. Absolutely. Whew. I tell you, some of you you make me laugh, and it's fantastic. It is. I come home from work, switch on. And as I'm doing something else or whatever, and I'll look at the read through. <laughs> That's some great. Some of you comedians, you don't realise how it's good. It's good fun. I'm very kind people. This is a close shave, wow. Ah, oh, a bit there. Excellent, right, cold water rinse. Sunflowers. Oh. Excellent. That's that. And I'm going to use the old uh, Thayer's medicated super hazel. Bit of a well, it's a different one. Some. Like a bay rum meat type thing, but it's I, I like it. So before we apply anything, this is the results. Nice clean excellent shave. Really enjoyed it. I think the dearest thing out of this lot was the brush. <laughs> so that's that. Now, this was a find, uh, and I was absolutely chuffed a bit. Cousins Imperial Leather Aftershave. I'm not sure if I've shown it in a video. Uh, I don't think I've used it. Imperial Leather, this is the original. When it was available in this country. <laughs> so somebody must have been sitting on this bottle somewhere. And there it is, if you can read that. Can you see that? Imperial Leather. Cousins, the oh, proper stuff. Oh, <laughs> I remember it. God, that takes you. You know, I couldn't remember. You see, I wasn't. Is it like it is? Is wow. Oh yeah, that takes me back. Imperial leather. Excellent. 
no burn either because normally some of these classics got a bit of a kick to them but that's lovely okay so what we use the Candure Shavette with half a Gillette Wilkinson blade fantastic works well um, the well feather popular for the second third and pickup time double edged razor standard razor with the Wilkinson sword blade second use for that one the Wickham soap, com soak, soap company 1912 Russian leather soap highly recommend that beautiful stuff if you like the scent of imperial leather as I say I find that more like the original years ago because the I think the soap bars were bigger a few years ago and it was a better stronger scent but it's still the same scent now a bit like the old spice isn't it you can the modern stuff is like it but it's not um simpsons best badger the colonel x2l fantastic brush um then we rinsed with water didn't we and then we had the medicated super hazel i must remember to empty that then we had this classic the cousins imperial leather aftershave beautiful so that was the lucky find that just time to be there at the right time and if you can tell but that's the cousins if it's focused that's the cousins crest there so it's a original well they are it says in the bottom cousins there you go very chuffed with that um and that's that and then it's only this to put on man cave i've sent this very kindly as part of a few other things man cave sensitive moisturizer deriving oh, let's try it then that's enough oh, that smells nice <laughs> it's like a sweet fruity scent there cucumber oh yeah hang on I'll tell you now with naturally derived ingredients hydrate so sensitive skin with cucumber white tea Shea butter, but that's what I can. Must be the tea. That's a nice, nice scent. That. Wow. <laughs> that's <laughs> chuffed with that. That's a bit of a surprise. That just thought it'd be a standard cream, but anyway, many thanks. And that is it. I'll leave you to it. Uh, hope you're having some great shaves as well. And um, yeah, I thought, you know using these because uh, some people say oh i'm saying use a straight for a while or a shavette and not my thing i'm i love the d razors and the se but because i've got them i enjoy using it but my method now is first pass it's easy to go with it you have to be careful like eh? but first pass and then i'm using it and i'm enjoying it and it's yeah it's great that's what works for me anyway um yeah, so many thanks for watching. I've filmed my shaving camera light all set up. So that will probably be up uh, before Sunday. Um, maybe Thursday, somewhere around there. Um, it's all ready to go. So if you see that video coming up, if you're not into tech or cameras or you don't, you're not interested, then uh, there's a bit of a heads up for you don't watch it. But I've been asked a few times, you know, what I use, how I set it up. So I'll show you in that. All the best. Have a great week and stay smiling, baby. And I'll see you in the next video. All the best. Got to clean up now. <laughs>